So hello everyone. Yep, my name's uh, John Ward. I'm a principal consultant at Thoroughgood. Thank you all for taking the time to join today's webcast in which I'm going to take a look at a product that we've developed and implemented at clients across different industries that provide centralised access to reporting and analytics within an organisation. So many organisations have multiple reporting and analysis technologies to provide for different use cases across the BI and analytics continuum. This isn't necessarily an issue in itself, but this can lead to many challenges around accessing, sharing and organising information within an organisation. The Reporting Analytics Hub provides a single point of entry to simplify access and administration of reporting and analytics within an organisation, including access to live reporting applications and more static documents such as Excel and PDF files. And this can help to overcome challenges faced in different user scenarios, including content consumers, content sharers and content administrators. So first, let's take a look at the key value drivers of centralisation and sharing of insights. Centralisation increases productivity because business users can access reporting and analytics without the need to look through different servers, file shares and websites. This allows them to focus on analysis and collaboration rather than finding information. It also means we have a reliable single point of entry for reports and documents with knowledge that these are up to date. This will lead to users spending less time checking information and more time on decision making with the available information. So how often do you see several people creating different versions of essentially the same report without being aware that someone else has already done the same analysis? Another key value that centralization can provide is to reduce duplicate effort towards analytics and insight generation within an organization. Perhaps the most important value driver is the potential for greater insight discovery. When organizations effectively centralize reports and insights, there is a greater shared access to information that can drive better collective decision making. Finally, the ability to centrally track usage drives a greater understanding of the necessary investment to drive greater adoption, as well as the potential to rationalize the number of reports if some aren't being used. So now let's look at some of the common usage scenarios where we see our clients having challenges around retrieving, sharing and organizing information. First, let us take a look at the challenge around accessing information. As more and more information is available, users often face the challenge of massive amounts of information available to them, often provided through multiple different vendor technologies, but not being able to track, keep track of exactly what information is available, when it's updated, and where they can go to get it. So overall, the, big, the biggest challenge that is posed to information discovery is for users to be able to access the information they need quickly via simple search mechanisms. And we see many situations where users default to their own local copy of a manually built report in Excel rather than trying to track down reports. The next challenge is around sharing and collaboration. If users want to share the information they find, they usually have several options for doing so. And quite often we see that people will save an interesting report, perhaps as a PDF, and then email it to a colleague. Even if you have only one technology where you're delivering interactive reporting and, and analysis, users get information from all over the place and often store it in the familiar places such as Excel or PowerPoint. These documents then get saved to file shares or emailed out to many more colleagues and you start to get a messy web of information delivery. Finally, let's take a look at a few challenges around organising and administering content. With users having multiple places to access reports, it can become a headache for IT to maintain. Maintenance and versioning of reports across multiple platforms can add to the overhead. And IT is often asked to be the gatekeeper on content with which they may not be familiar. This poses challenges to business users as well, who would like to share reports or insights, but may not have the ownership over the reporting platform to be able to do so. So with a variety of reporting tools, and users sharing across various mediums, information owners may have to spend more time going through IT process than being able to manage information effectively. So I'll show you now a demo of the Reporting and Analytics Hub to, to show how it addresses some of these challenges. So this is the Reporting Analytics home page. This has been built in SharePoint Online and is all cloud-based. This implementation is for our fictional sister company, Thoroughgood Insurance, but it's just as applicable to develop such a portal for organizations in any industry. In this implementation, we've organized by department across the top here. We also have an area for core reports that can be given more prominence. And each tile in this page represents a report 
and the colour coding shows the type of report that is linked to and includes technologies such as Power BI and Tableau, as well as documents such as PDF, Excel and Word. There are many ways to find the reports you need. A simple search mechanism allows quick access to reports using customizable metadata to drive the search capability. So for example, if I'm looking for property, you'll notice as I type, the reports are being filtered. This search is not just on the report names, but on metadata that is associated with each report. And this metadata is a key way of enabling people to get access to what they need quickly. I can now open a report by simply clicking on tile. And in this instance, this is opening up a Power BI report. And this gives me full interaction now within Power BI. So I can look at my, filter my data to look at the property uh, information that I was interested in. Clear search to have all reports available. We also have on the left here a set of customizable filters that give an additional way to filter reports. So for example, if in my finance uh, set of reports, I want to look at those that are related to specific measures, say claim financials and written premium, you can see that filtering the reports quickly. I can further filter within this by searching within this as well. The uh, filter icon on, on the left here shows that I've, I've applied a filter on the left and I can clear that easily enough. As well as launching reports, more information about a report can be found by clicking on a tile. So if I click on the tile here, we'll see that this SBF dashboard is actually a syndicate-based forecast controller dashboard. And here we have customised information that is used for information and for searching, such as division, department, etc. Uh, we also have here the report owner. So if I need to know about more about this report, I can simply click on the report owner and this brings up a templated email for me to contact the report owner and ask a question of it. Once I've um, got more information about what this report is, I can decide to, to launch the report from here as well. So this time, this is uh, an Anaplan dashboard and I can use this in the same way as I would in Anaplan. So I have the interaction um, in Anaplan as I would do uh, if I'd logged in directly. You can see other functionality at the bottom of this tile. We can add user guides and report specs for the specific report if we want to. You can also share the report by clicking here. And again, this creates a simple email with a link to the report that I can send on to somebody. You can also add this report as a favorite. So if I click on the add to favorites and close this tile, you can see here I have a favorites area where my favorite reports are stored. Similarly, I can just click on the pin icon on any report to add that as a favourite. So that gives quick and easy access to people's reports tailored to their own individual favourite reports. So we've seen from this how this can quickly make a difference for accessing and sharing information. In terms of initiating the site, there are a few ways this can be done. Say I've got a new report that I want to add to the hub. In this example, it's a Tableau report, Tableau Underwriting Performance Report. I shall grab the URL of that report and now I'm going to go to my administration area now I'm going to want to add this to my underwriting section so I'll go to that folder within here you can see all the different uh, reports that are in the hub and I can easily edit the properties and the metadata for any of those from within here in this case though I'm going to add a new report as a link to a document, although you can also add documents here. I'll give it a name and I'll copy in the URL, which I can click here to test if I want to check that that is working correctly. Once I've done that, click OK, and that will now add um, that report uh, link to the hub. This opens up a new window asking me to put in uh, metadata and other information. So this is to help both in terms of providing information to somebody looking at this um, report tile, but also to help um, it come up in searches. I won't spend time putting in all the data uh, details now. I'll just change the report type so that it knows it's a Tableau report rather than SSRS report, and I'll save that report. And I can return to the reporting analytics hub. 
as well as being able to maintain and add individual reports, we've also um, got a, a bulk loader whereby the business can detail multiple reports to be loaded along with all the properties and all the metadata, and then hundreds of reports can be loaded in a couple of minutes, which is really useful for initializing the system or making many changes or uploading many reports. Either way, it's possible to give the business ownership of maintaining this content. So if I now go back to my underwriting section and search for that report I've just added, you can see there it is. I can open up that tile, and you'll see there's not a lot of information in the um, metadata because I didn't actually fill it in on this occasion. And things like the user guide and report spec are grayed out because I haven't provided any information on those details. But I can now launch the report from here, and we can just validate that, that should open up the tabular report I looked at earlier. There we go. Finally, another very useful admin feature is the ability to record usage statistics reports that are launched from the hub. In this implementation, we've integrated with Google Analytics to provide usage reports. But it's also possible to implement reporting with any number of tools or natively within SharePoint in itself. So here's just an example of a dashboard looking at different aspects of what's been accessed through the reporting hub. A quick summary now of some of the key features I've just shown. So a centralized hub provides for intuitive navigation via free text search and metadata filters, along with personalization via favorites functionality to give quicker, easier access to reports and analyses. We've shown how the hub acts as a gateway to different reporting platforms and can be used to ensure users always have the latest version of reports, simple built-in email functionality for sharing. And we've shown how the hub can be maintained easily by a business user to reduce the burden and potential delay of having to go through IT, along with the ability to track report usage and adoption to provide potential rationalization of reports and to help understand where to focus efforts on driving user adoption. But can we help? Well, we've implemented our product at a number of customers, and many of the benefits we've covered today have been realized. If you would like an informal discussion of your situation and whether the reporting and analytics hub could be of interest for your organization, then please do reach out to me. My email address is on screen now, john.ward at thoroughgood.com, and a colleague or I will be happy to have a chat. And finally, a few words on who we are and why we are able to help organizations such as yourselves. We focus only on business intelligence and analytics, and have vast experience of implementing business intelligence and analytics solutions for global organizations. We always look to combine an understanding of business objectives with appropriate technical focus to ensure solutions meet business needs rather than just being an IT project. We are independent of vendor and, and partner with key vendors in the market, which means that we're able to give an honest, independent view of the strengths and weaknesses of the many technology options. Finally, we have specific focus on insurance, banking, consumer goods, pharmaceutical and health healthcare sectors that really enables us to bring industry understanding to solutions. That concludes today's webcast, and do feel free to get in touch if you have any additional questions or would like any further discussion. And thank you again for attending.